Hello everyone, I'm Safida from Applied Mathematics and today I'm going to present my work on a state of charge estimation uh, of batteries in hybrid electric vehicles. Well, nowadays hybrid electric vehicles are taking place of gas and joint vehicles. And in a hybrid ele electric vehicles, both gas and joint and an electric motor are working together. It means that in addition to the gas tank, there should be also a source of electric energy. Well, batteries are the source of electric energy in hybrid electric vehicles. In order to provide a safe drive, both the amount of flow inside the gas tank and the level of electric energy must be defined in a drive cycle. As a driver of the gas engine vehicle, we all know how important it is to know or to check the <coughs> state of the gas during a trip in hybrid electric vehicles Knowing the available amount of electric energy is even more important. Now here is a question. How can the level of electric energy be defined and measured for, for batteries? The answer is that this level of energy is usually indicated by some quantity which is called state of charge. And state of charge is directly related to the available amount of charge inside the battery. Unfortunately, the state of a charge is not a measurable quantity. However, there are other quantities that can be measured, like voltage or current. So an algorithm is required to map the available measurement to the state of a charge. A very simple example of this algorithm is the one which is used in your electric devices to show you what is the remaining charge of your electric device. However, Estimating the state of a charge is not that easy for hybrid electric vehicle because of the severe working condition. It means that a more sophisticated algorithm is required in which, in addition to the measurements, a prior knowledge of battery charging and discharging behavior is also employed. This knowledge is in terms of mathematical equations and with the sake of electrochemistry science, the equations can be derived such that the state of a charge is a part of modeling. Now, the objective of my project is to use advanced mathematics to design an algorithm which estimates the state of a charge using the mathematical equation in a real-time application. Thank you for listening.